morning of my trip. I just made it to the airport. Actually, Ray dropped me off because his hospital is close by to the airport. Every couple of months, he switches hospitals. And um, well, it's kind of like the same hospital, the same two hospitals. He goes back and forth, and this hospital is further out and it's closer to the airport. So he has to be at work at 6 15. My flight doesn't leave till 8 40, but I needed a ride to the airport, so he dropped me off here at like 5 45, which is crazy. But I've had enough time to just wander around, and now I am in the United Terminal and I'm getting breakfast. And I am not paying with cash, I'm paying with my United Miles because I'm a Mileage Plus member and I have these miles that I never use for anything. They're like never enough for me to get a ticket anywhere, but they're enough for me to buy like food and drinks when I'm flying, so hey, why not? So I'll show you my setup quickly and then I have to figure out a ride to the airport because my sister who was going to come pick me up is unfortunately not going to be able to come pick me up. Someone basically rear-ended her and ran away, which is crazy. So she's in the emergency room. She's fine, but she's just a little banged up and she's a nurse, so she understands the importance of precautions. So she'd rather um, be safe than sorry later. So she's getting herself checked out. I do not want to get an Uber. The Uber prices in Texas are extortionate, especially being that everything's like far and her house is about an hour away from the airport. So I'm just gonna try to figure out my um, route from there and how I am going to you know work things out so enough of that time for breakfast it is 6 25 and i ordered a mimosa <laughs> judge not lest you be judged hey it's practically free and um, i ordered an omelet with bacon spinach and um cheddar cheese so that should be coming any minute from now Toast and potatoes and eggs and salsa. It's like this is lunch, not breakfast at 6 a.m. It is way too early to eat this much food, so I'm done. I can't. I just, I just can't. I only had two and a half hours of sleep last night because I was up editing the video that I needed to, um, you know, put up. Basically, it's a video about my wedding shoes, and I feel like it's just been hanging around and I hadn't gotten into it, so um, I was up till like 2 a.m. and then we had to get up at 4 a.m. so I'm really tired and now I have had this breakfast and I'm just like <laughs> but the mimosa is nice though and I've been playing this game so far I have $725 in rewards I guess if you get like over 2,000 rewards or something and you get like a gift card or something I doubt that I'm going to get it but it's fun anyway it's such a nice way to you know pass the time so guess what I did I will let you know in a second <laughs> but hey I have another hour and a half here so might as well I ordered another one <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while, so it's whatever. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Houston, Texas. Can you hear the country music playing? <laughs> I forget how country this place is, but I love it. It's my second home in the US. I lived in Texas for about eight years before I moved to New York for law school. And I would always know Texas as home, or Houston specifically as home. There's a lots of time in Houston now, which is pretty cool. They didn't have one before. Ba -ba -da! It used to be my favorite seafood restaurant until I moved to New York and I tasted food like straight from the ocean <laughs> and I realized I've been bullshitting the whole time but so far um, it was my favorite restaurant I really liked going there 
memory. This is my suitcase. My purple purple. Ah, so heavy. Oh my god. What do I have in here just for a weekend trip? <laughs> I just realized that all day I've been filming and haven't showed you guys what I look like, what I'm working with. So I'm just wearing this kimono that I got in the Berkshires about a year and a half ago now. And I look a hot mess as to be expected when you take an early morning flight. White camisole and white jeans and flats and my suitcase. So nothing fly right now. My hair's a mess. I'm going to take it out and get it redone hopefully. But yeah, it's just casual because it's really hot in Houston. And this is really light. I really, really love it. It's just super cool and super cash. So this is my sister's house in Houston, Texas. So gorgeous. So yeah. Land is flat. Homes are nice size and relatively cheap. Everything is relatively affordable. Hey, Irene! <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna run some errands now. She was watering her plants earlier this morning. I was gonna get that on camera, but I forgot because I was eating. My mom made some plantains for me and it was just so gorgeous. This is my wonderful mom. Shade in, is it an abstract sculpture? <laughs> or something. She's an artist. With so much ease. Mm -hmm. Wow, mom. Thanks. Amazing. Look at that. OMG. My hair is slayed. Ooh. I love you. I need you to, back, to come back to New York with me. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Is it dark outside already? Yeah. Yay! Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. Okay, I saw that. medium spiced crawfish and the corn and BB got half she got one pound and she's taking a selfie and I am ready to dig in I think we got a oh <laughs> I think we got a fork and spoon and a plate they just forgot about it but I'm just gonna dig in He can put that in just a in. So it's morning. It's the morning of the bridal shower. I'm not sure if I made it clear that one of the reasons I was coming to Texas was because my sister, who's pregnant, is having twins and we're having a bridal sh baby shower for her. So. I am at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna pick up some supplies and balloons and just, you know, baby stuff basically. I'm just wearing a cute little dress and woke up this morning with a terrible cold so I'm not feeling well at all and I have a lot of things to do. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. But it's fun coming here because everything is a dollar and it's super cheap and it's super fun and I love coming here so. I will take you guys with me to the extent that I can. So this is the Dollar Tree. We have all these party supplies here. I swear to God, I'm like ready to plan a party, <laughs> another party, like a baby party or something. 
have all these supplies here. It's insane. Like, I already got the stuff my sister needs, but I'm getting more. Like, you know, happy birthday. It's definitely geared more towards birthday than baby shower, though. Which is understandable, because, you know, people throw birthday parties for their kids all the time. But look at this. Look at all these colors. And funny thing is, most everything here is a dollar. It's like legit a dollar. On like the Dollar Tree in, you know, in the East Coast that is like yeah 299 or 475 or you know 175 like nothing's almost truly um, 99 cents here it's really a dollar and it's ridiculously insane these are the things that i miss about texas you know like standard of living here is so cheap it's so workable because you can everything is just cheaper we got donuts today we got a dozen of donut holes for a dollar 35 because I'm using that to de decorate the dessert table which again is insane because in Jersey it's like six dollars and seven cents or something like six dollars and fifty cents for a thing of donut holes or maybe if I'm wrong maybe it's like 3.99 or 4.99 but anyway these are more things here baby boy we're doing a gender neutral baby shower which I love by the way so I keep getting calls because my sisters want to know where I am and what I'm doing so you understand how that goes anyway so I really love stuff here I'm still obviously in wedding mode <laughs> look at these oh I can tell her actually I can show her with your favorite boxes maybe she'll like these because these are cute these are cute <laughs> selection of fall flowers especially for the fall not bad at all and then some glassware here some vases I mean you can definitely plan a party on a budget and make you look glam from Dollar Tree so I got the balloons and I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Basically, I think these are just party essentials, you know, toothpicks and banners and plastic cups, bowl flowers and just little things here, gift bags and things that will make the day more exciting and more colorful. I hope she likes it.
shows. So it's the day after the baby shower and I'm headed back to Jersey. I ended up having a terrible, terrible cold and basically I didn't even know how I'm standing up right now. I was just like, oh. But the shower was a great success. My sister is happy. She got a lot of gifts. A lot of my friends showed up and showed out. Just made me realize how much I miss Houston basically overall. And um, yeah, I had a great time. She did as well. And now I'm about to you know, get on the plane and I'm just, <laughs> my airport swag today is comfy chic. Um, I have my Kenzo t-shirt on and I have my Fashion Nova jeans, but also with my Terry Birch Florence and my Chanel bag, so comfort is all I care about. Um, and yeah, so Ray's gonna pick me up from the airport. I should land about 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock and I'm probably just gonna do some editing of some videos while I am on the plane because I don't want to sleep because if I sleep then I can't sleep you know at night but yeah so I'm rambling thank you guys for hanging out with me today I hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, I will catch you guys in my next one if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do just that go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are thank you so much I do appreciate every single one of you and me and my struggle face struggle no makeup face are just gonna leave right now and my gate is right over there so I am going to head on back home thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys